Hi Pine Forest, it's Julia. I am making watercolors. So you can make watercolors from any from homemade stuff that you have in your kitchen. So if you get baking soda and food coloring and an ice cube tray and water, you can make watercolors from your home. So what I did is you take your baking soda and you take your ice cube tray and you put about three fourths amount in one little slot and fill it up. So there's about three fourths baking soda in there. And then you take your watercolors, you take about one to two drops in each um, section. So I'm gonna do green in this section. I'm gonna do one drop two drops and then I'm gonna take my water and I'm gonna slowly put it in and then I'm gonna stir up the baking soda and the water and the food coloring all in my little thing and then it's gonna get really really watery so if you can see I made these ones a little earlier right here is all full of baking soda. So your final product should look like very minimal water, not a lot of water on top of these. They're all packed with baking soda in them. This one, I can put my finger all the way in. So I need to add more baking soda. Because when you think about a regular watercolor palette, it's got kind of some thickness to it. It's not really watery until you put the water in it with the paintbrush. So I'm going to keep adding baking soda. I might have run out. There's some more. And now we're just going to want to leave it and keep kind of stir it once or twice the first time and then just leave it so it hardens. And then you can leave this out to dry and then it'll look like a real watercolor palette or you can put it in the freezer and it'll only take three or four hours to freeze. And then you have your own homemade watercolors that you made all by yourself. So I will make another video and see if this turns out. So I'll check back in with you and you can check in too. Thanks for making watercolors.